Hello everyone, my name is Nilo and you're welcome to today's tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful and simple kimono dress. For this I used two years of fabric with some scrap, okay? So if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I upload videos twice a week or once a week depending on my time and also like and share my video and also leave a comment for me below. Alright, let's start. So for this, like I said, this is my starting line and I'm making use of two yards of fabric. One yard for the front, one yard for the back. That is how I cut it. So and this is the length I'm working with. The length I'm working with is 39. I added two inches for folding. Okay, so making it 41. So that is my starting line. So from that line, I'm going to mark. So from that shoulder line, I'll be marking 10 inches downwards okay and that will serve as my armhole line and also my bust line okay so i'm marking 10 inches this way too and i'm going to connect with a straight line like so okay that is my armhole line and also my bust line so from the shoulder line i'm still going to mark my waist measurement my waistline which is 17 inches okay 17 inches for my waistline okay so i'm going to connect with a straight line too So I'm trying to make it bold so that you guys will be seeing the line. All right, it's bold enough. So from that waistline, I'm going to come down by eight inches. You can make use of nine if you're that tall, but I'm tall too, but I'm making use of eight inches, okay, for my hip line. So I'm going to mark the eight inches here too. Okay, so I'll connect with a straight line so to get your sleeve you place your tape on your center back neck and then trace it down to where you want your sleeve to end okay i'll be putting that on the screen for you to see so remember i said i folded this fabric into two so i'm going to show you what i mean by that as you can see is on fold okay that's for the front and this is for the back okay so now i'm going to be placing my neck my shoulder measurement that's the length i want for my sleeve or what you will do you can divide your shoulder by two your shoulder measurement by two plus your sleeve length okay so like my shoulder measurement is 16 16 divided by two is eight plus eight inches for my sleeve making it 16 inches hope you understand so i'm marking 16 inches there plus one inch sewing allowance that's folding allowance that's 17 okay so now i'm going to mark my neck width which is 3.5 and then the neck depth of four inches for the front okay so i'm going to connect Like so okay so and then the back neck depth is one inch okay i'm going to be making use of one inch for my back and then the front is eight inches okay so i'm going to cut the back as well that's for the back okay I make use of four inches and then 3.5 for the width, four inches for the front depth, one inch for the back depth, okay? So on this shoulder line, I'm going to come down by 1.5 inch for my shoulder slant, okay? So I'm going to, I came down by 1.5 inch, so I'm going to really straight line from that shoulder slant side to the neck width, okay? To the neckline like so so now i'm going to be putting all my measurement 
my bus circumference divided by 4. Okay, so here I'll be putting my bus circumference divided by 4. My bus circumference is 39 divided by 4. I have 9.75 plus 1 inch for ease and 1 inch for sewing allowance. Okay, and on my waistline, I'll be putting quarter of my waist circumference plus 1 inch for ease. Okay. That's quarter of my waist circumference plus one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance. And down here on my hip line, I'm going to also put the quarter of my hip circumference. So I'm trying to use a white chalk to highlight the lines so that you will see. So I'll be putting the quarter of my hip circumference plus one inch for sewing um, for ease in one inch for sewing allowance okay and then on that hip line i'm going to be minusing one inch from the hip measurement and then i'll place it on my um hem line okay i minus one inch from my hip circumference and then i place it on the hem line plus one inch for ease and also one inch for sewing allowance okay So now I'm going to connect. Okay, here on the uh, shoulder line, that's my six, 16 inches and that is the one inch for folding. Okay, so I'm going to really a straight line from that shoulder slant down to the bust line. Okay, and that is going to be my hand opening. Okay. So this chunk is really small, so it's not coming out. So I'm going to use this to roll it. Okay. So now I'm going to highlight it with a white chalk. And then now I'm going to connect all my measurements. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to connect like so. I'm going to be using this to trace it. Okay, you can use your hip curve if you have one. So I'm just tracing it like that. Then I'll draw the line down to the hem line. Okay. All right. So I'm going to also highlight all the other lines so that you see so on this um bus line okay on this bus line i'm going to come down by two inches okay came down by two inches and then i'm going to mark one inch outward like so place your tape the way i, I place my and then I'll, then you connect like so with a curve okay just that is to enable you get a nice curve all right so that is our armhole okay so i'm going to use this chalk to <laughs> highlight all the drawings so that you will see okay the other lines so that's my neckline and this is my shoulder slant okay so now i'm going to be cutting them out so first of all i'm going to cut the back neckline Okay, so I'm done cutting it and then now I'm going to cut the front neckline, okay? So this is the front neckline. Alright, so for the slit at the front, I came down by 4 inches, okay? So I'm going to remove the back panel. So this here, I came down by 4 inches. So I'm just going to mark like half an inch inward like so, just to get that little opening. If you notice that slit is not just straight, it's a little bit curved, it's a little bit wide. So I mark half inch inward or you could just 
cut it curve it a little like so okay so i'm gonna cut it like that like this okay so this is what we have after cutting all right so now i'm going to be showing you how to apply or sew the patches okay the ankara patch so i cut nine by nine nine inches width nine inches long okay and then i folded it half an inch inward so what is left is eight inches okay and then i've also used them um, i use light interfacing on it okay but guys i later realized that this eight inches is a bit big so you can reduce yours you can make it seven inches then after folding half inch inward you'll be left with six inches okay my looks a bit big so but if you want it big you can use exactly the same measurement i use so this is how i'm going to place them as you can see so um to get your purchase you need a very shouty fabric as you can see mine is not that shouty so you need a very shouty fabric to get a nice look okay so i'm going to sew like so okay i'm going to be sewing it rectangular the way it is okay and the way i place it sew it like so down and i also do the same on the other one like this and also all of them okay so i'm going to go and sew them and then i'll show you okay all right guys i'm done sewing it guys i said i make use of two inches yes i managed the two inches this um facing i joined all the scrap together all the remaining pieces together to get the facing and also the pocket so if you if you can see very well you notice that i joined it okay so man it is inside so nobody is seeing it so i wanted to manage the two inches so i'm gonna place it like this okay make sure that is a little bit longer than your slit okay maybe like three or two inches longer than your slit and then you're gonna dress the neck out like so i'm trying to arrange it okay so the facing is on fold too okay just like the fabric is on fold the facing is on fold too so i'm going to trace like so all right and this is what we have after that so i'm just in kind of shaping it the way i want okay all right so as you can see the patches have sewn it on the fabric okay you can see it's already sewn and i've also ironed it and now for the facing i'm going to place it right side to right side like so okay right side to right side look at the pocket i'm showing you that i patched <laughs> i joined all the scraps together to get the pocket and also the facing so it's not going to show because it's inside so instead of using another color it's better to patch all the leftover fabric and then you know you have your facing and your pockets all right so now i'm going to show you how i'm going to sew this facing i've also cut out the back facing the same way i cut the front okay so I'm going to sew like so. Let me use chalk so that you guys will see it. I'm going to sew like so. Down. Then I'll go up again. Down. Like that. Okay. So after sewing, I'm going to notch all around. And also open the slits. The facing slits too. And then I'll turn it. Okay. So, and for the pocket, <laughs> from the waistline, I'm looking for my tape. <laughs> All right, from the waistline, I'm going to come down by seven inches, okay? So, 
So I'm going to come down by 7 inches from the waistline. Like this. That's going to be for my pocket. Like so. 7 inches on both sides. You mark the same on the back panel too. So I'm going to notch there. I'm going to notch the both side. Okay, so I'm notching them so that I will know where to place my pocket. So this is the pocket, all right? So I measured seven inches like this too, seven inches, okay? And then I put my hand like so, and then I'll curve it, I curve it out, okay? And it's four pieces, two for the back, two for the front. So I'm going to be placing it like this, right side facing right side okay so i'm going to place it like so and then sew it like this flip it over and top stitch on the pocket okay i'll do the same on the other side and then i'll show you all right so now i am done sewing my facing and then my pocket too i've also joined the shoulders okay i also joined the shoulder and also turn the sleeve so the facing, like I said, you open it and then you notch before you turn so that it will relax, okay? So I've also turned the sleeve with one inch. After sewing the shoulder, I turn the sleeve, okay? All right? I use like half an inch to show to sew the shoulder and then turn it with the uh, turn the sleeve with the one inch we left for the sleeve, okay? So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to join this together. Okay, so I'm going to sew like so. With the one inch allowance we added. Then I'll sew like so to the pocket side. And then downwards to the hemline, okay? Just from this side like so. You enter the pocket like this. Come out again. And then you sew it down to the hemline. And then you fold the down part and that's all and this is the final result of our kimono dress guys this is my patches eh? it's looking big so you can reduce yours my own looks big so you can reduce length from my mistake although it's still fine but you know so like this video subscribe to my channel if you've not done so like and share my video leave a comment below for me okay so i've not ironed it though there is no light so i just so let me show you guys the final look you know mm -hmm. so that's the pocket as you can see i'm feeling it i'm putting my hand inside okay that's the hole the pocket hole <laughs> all right guys see you in my next video bye